hello everyone so we will continue this particular topic usual abap class if you remember as of now our method is a instance method instance and we learned how to call this method with the help of object we declared the object we created the object and we called this particular method with the help of class object suppose i am converting this method to static method now and we will see if a method is static how we can call i will go to my program if you have a static method it means there is no need for the object suppose i am just making a copy of the method and i will just go for static calling now i am commenting the logic which was the part of instance how to call the instance method now in case of static there is no need for the object not at all required now how we will call the static method i will go to pattern i will go to a map object patterns okay now if you see now our method is a static method now it means there is no instance there is no object nothing we will directly pass the class name this is our class name and we will directly pass the method okay and you can see this time we are calling the method display directly using the class name if you remember the previous logic in which our method was instance method we called the method with the help of the class object now we are calling with the help of class directly rest part is totally same totally totally same there is no difference from the logic perspective this is the input and we have four things i am taking the output of four columns same to same the only difference is we are now calling the static method directly with the help of class and i will give the same to same error handling and output also and you can see the only difference is this is you are calling the method with the help of class because now our method is static previously we called with the help of object if i will check the syntax okay i it is e r z e d i just interchanged this is e r now i will activate this particular method and you can see from the output perspective no difference if you are giving the wrong thing your error message is coming difference is we just directly call the method with the help of class now we will go for another important thing as of now your method is 
a public method. That's why I'm able to call this method outside the class. See, simply I'm calling this method inside the program. How I'm able to call because this method is public. Suppose if I'm changing this method to suppose I'm saying private. It means private method can only be used in this class. Now we will see what will happen to our program. If I'm going for syntax check and you can see I'm directly getting an error that your method is either protected or private. Yes. It means you can only only call the public methods outside that particular class. So I will just change the visibility to public. And now I will check there is no syntax error. Now the last important point in this particular video, many times people ask which operator signifies static or which operator signifies dynamic object or instance object. Just simple. If you will see hyphen and arrow, it is your instance. It is your instance. And if you will see equal to and hyphen is your static. It's a very important thing. Many times people will simply ask which operator signifies instance object creation? The simple, simple answer is this arrow. If you are going for static, this is the arrow and this is the operator. Very important perspective. Now that's we already finished the topic. Now usual a back class. We'll just go for a summary what we learned. We learned that the purpose of usual ABAP class is to write the logic. We created one method. Inside that method, we gave importing and exporting parameter. We took method as instance one time and static another time. We called that method with the help of object if the method is instance. We call the method directly with the help of class if the method is static. We learned what is public, private and protected visibility. We learned what is the meaning of importing, exporting, changing and returning parameters. Importing input, exporting output, changing connect as both input and output. Returning is always, always one. We learned only this thing as of now. How you can create an object, create object, object name. This is the way how you can create an object of usual ABAP class. So this is how you can go for instance method. This is the significance. This is the operator. How you can go for static. This is the operator for static. So this is our whole learning up in this ABAP object oriented concept so far. We'll continue in the next videos. Thank you.